Hi guys, welcome to uh, episode 21 of the Fox and Christmas vlog. Um, uh, thank you for all of you who have been watching the vlog. I've been learning lots of new things when it comes to editing and framing and all of these different things while I'm working. And I've been try I'm gonna try a few new things in the next couple episodes here, especially for Christmas Eve. Big surprise for that one. Um, but enough about that. I wanted to talk about spinning vats. Um, and my experience spinning uh, Sue Smith's, uh, who is Paisley Defender, if you follow her on Instagram. Um, Instagram? Yeah, Instagram. Uh, <laughs> if you follow her on Instagram. Uh, and uh, I just want to talk about like the experience I had spinning her bats. So um, this is going to be a bit of a rehash from what I said on my last episode when I was learning how to spin on the bat. I'll put that up on the iCard there. Um, or there. I don't know which one. I think that one. This side. Right? Yeah, this, let's say this side. Anyway, um, so I'll put it up in the iCard there. And um, I have had a fun time learning how to spin a bat. There are a few things that I needed to like let go uh, while working, which uh, you'll see there. Um, and long story short, went to the Fiber Festival, the PEI Fiber Festival um, there in October, bought a few bats from her. Um, and uh, because I never worked from a bat before, despite the fact that I've probably made hundreds of bats at this point, like at work, not me personally. And I fell in love with a few of her bats. So I've got uh, the remains of the three bats that I had done before. So this is one bat, this is the second bat, and this is the third bat. Um, and I really fell in love with these three bats. So when I bought them, I bought them so that way I could make like a stripey gradient sort of yarn, uh, that transition between the colors. Um, from this side to the other side, um, because I just, I really, really loved the colors. And I love the fact that there's all kinds of different fibers in here. Um, yeah, a lot of fun. A uh, few things, which I think the issues that I had spinning this wasn't because, wasn't, isn't because the fiber is bad. It's not, it's beautiful. Um, I think it's just because of my inexperience working with uh, a mixture of fibers quite like this, um, where things aren't perfectly blended all together, uh, which if it did, it wouldn't be as beautiful. Um, I found some parts rather hard to draft. Um, and when I went into it, I was planning on spinning a worsted E weight, maybe just see what the, the fiber wanted. And what the fiber wanted is a really bulky yarn. <laughs> Uh, so without further ado, this is the finished skein here. And it is quite, quite lovely. Um, I will take a picture of that uh, and put it up on this side, <laughs> like I did for the sock yesterday. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it, it turned out really lovely. It's, it's nice and soft. I have not set the twist in this yet. Um, it's literally fresh off of the, uh, the spinner today. <laughs> uh, I finished spinning it last night. Um, so what I ended up doing was, um, the initial plan was to split the, the bats in half and then do a two ply and then just ply them together. So that way the color changes line up. But then I thought to myself, why would I do that when I could just do a chain ply? So of course that's exactly what I did is a chain ply. Um, and, uh, because this yarn is so much thicker than what I'm used to spinning, it took no time at all. <laughs> For me to spin this. It took no time at all for me to ply this. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm going to talk about this skein. Uh, I'm going to talk about the things I like about this skein, and then I'm going to talk about the things I don't like about this skein and how this spun up. So the first thing that I love about this skein is that how the colors interplay with one another. Uh, they are stunning. Like, the colors are beautiful. Um, the fiber was really soft other than a couple spots where I had to like individually grab a color and like pre-draft it by just pulling it apart uh, before I spun it. Uh, it. It drafted like a dream. I just needed to... No, I'll talk about that when I get... I'll talk about that when I get to the next part. Um, yeah, so uh, that... So I love the color. I love how it feels. I love how it's got lots of squish. Yeah, it was just, it was just, it was lovely to work with once I got into the rhythm. So the cons I have for the skein and how it spun up is mostly, um, 
I think it's just a result of where I am in my spinning journey um, and where my preferences of yarn lie. Uh, because all of the things that I have problems with are just preferential problems. They're not like technical problems. Um, so the, one of the things that I don't like is uh, how slubby uh, my spin turned out to be. And sure, I could remove those as I went along because there were some fibers in there that were a little bit shorter. I could have been a little bit more, uh, <laughs> a little bit more meticulous about how I, you know, pre-drafted and then drafted the the bat. Because all I did was I ripped the bat in half into like a thick sliver like this, and then I just pulled it apart ever so slightly like this, and I just kept spinning across, um, which you know probably not the best way to spin a braid, but I was just going with what I knew <laughs> about spinning. So I spun it like a braid. Um, and because the different fibers in here have different lengths and uh, like different bits and pieces that some places just didn't want to draft the same way. And I don't have enough skill in my own spinning to be able to fix that kind of tension problem on the fly. Um, so uh, I just don't, I just don't have the experience. Um, the other thing that um, I, I think is just an experimental thing or experience, experiential, there we go, experiential thing is um, how art yarn it came out. Um, so like I can appreciate the colors, I can appreciate the pops of color and I can appreciate even like some of the boucle accents of the fiber. Um, but I'm, I'm not far enough in my spinning journey to be at the point where I desire to make art yarn. I still feel like I have uh, learning to do when it comes to making things consistent. And because I'm at that point in my spinning journey, um, this feels like I've gone backwards a little bit because there are sections of this that are very thick and thin. Um, and that's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> so again, that's, that's just, I'm just not there in my, my, uh, spinning journey. Um, and the other thing that I'm not a huge fan of, which is just because of, uh, the types of yarn I prefer to work with. Um, I'm not a huge fan of how thick this turned out to be. I know part of that is because I spun it as a three ply instead of a two ply. I could have, I could have done something about that. Um, but then I wouldn't have this yarn to show you today. Uh, but uh, yeah, it just turned out really, really bulky. Uh, so this is uh, three ounces of fiber, 3.1 ounces of fiber, I weighed it. Uh, 3.1 ounces of fiber uh, and it only is 60 yards of uh, fiber. So I don't really know ex what I'm going to do with this uh, braid as of oh, this braid, uh, this skein of yarn yet. Um, I might like quickly knit up a hat or, uh, you know, part of me is like, oh, this would be beautiful in color work. And it absolutely would be. But I don't know if I have anything that I can pair with this. Because I think this is much thicker than the Cotswold that I have. And I think the Cotswold is outside of the acrylic yarns that I have. Um, I think the Cotswold is the bulkiest stuff that I have. And it would be barely an Aran weight. And this is like super bulky. <laughs> this is like super bulky. If this was 100 grams, um, it would be like 85 yards. Or that would be like 92 meters. Um, there's not a lot of yarn here. Uh, I'm sure that this will puff up a little bit more after I have washed it and set the twist, um, as I have not done that yet. But, um, yeah. Well, what do you guys think of the, the skein? I think, again, like, I think the colors are beautiful. I love, um, the different textures of fiber in here, um, because... As, as I'm just looking through, like we've got some super wash wool in there. We've got some airy silk in here. Um, I thought I saw some mohair in places. Uh, I think that's tensile right there. Um, like these bats are just gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. I think that's alpaca in there. Um, some more just different colors of merino. Um, yeah, because that's untreated merino there. Uh, yeah, it's just, and there's super wash merino. Um, I don't feel, I don't feel any other, although it would be hard to tell by feel, but I don't, I don't feel there's probably too many other types of wool in here. If anything, it's probably like one of the softer ones, like a, like a, a Rambouillet. Um, but, uh, 
yeah, like these bats are stunning. So um, my plans for the remaining of my bats, because I've got one ounce of each color, uh, and I think what I'm going to do is I am going to, uh, I'm going to pull a Simone, <laughs> and I am going to uh, pull apart these bats and arrange them as, um, arrange them in like a color gradient. So that way I'm going from like this yellow that's here and the white through the purples into the burgundies and the browns that are in this one to then move into um, the browns and here going through the, the, the browns into the sage greens, into the dark greens and there's some dark blues there and then going to the purples of this one and then move back through um, the greens and the, the yellows and the reds um, and try to do it that way. <laughs> Uh, and spin there. And this kind of spin study, I'll call it, um, what I'm going to really force myself to do is uh, work on spinning from the fold. So uh, what I had been doing is just like, I tried a little bit of long draft, uh, like long draw, sorry, not long draft, long, long draw. And I just, I wasn't confident enough and I was getting a lot of slubs and I'm still at that point in my knitting journey that I don't want slubs, but I just need to relax, I think. Um, <laughs> my knitting journey, my spinning journey. Um, but how many times can I say journey in a, in a vlog? <laughs> Have I become one of those YouTubers? <laughs> oh, well. Um, but spinning from the fold is, I will just take a little section here, is that you take a section of fiber that's only about the length of the staple length, um, like so, and then you fold it over your finger like this. Um, well, I would be folding it over my left finger like so and then you're pulling from the little point that's created um, and then you are spinning from that and the idea is that uh, the fibers will grab themselves and this is a uh, this is a not a worsted this is a woolen type of spinning I typically spin worsted which is where I'm compressing all the air out of the fiber and then spinning it with short draw but doing it this way causes um, and it looks like I'm really confident at this, but I am being so careful. Um, this is forcing a lot of air into the fiber and you can see, um, I don't know if you can see, um, but there's like lots of like little ends of the fiber sticking out to make it uh, have a bit of a halo. Um, so that's what I'm going to teach myself how to do uh, and go from here um, as I work the rest of this. I don't think I'm going to get at this until the new year, um, but uh, there will be there will be a video of my progress as time goes on. Um, yeah, so I don't know what else to say about this other than uh, like I absolutely loved the the bat itself. The colors are beautiful. The fibers that are in it are luxurious and kind of a Honestly, it was a steal. Um, so uh, as I mentioned, this is from uh, Sue Smith, Paisley Defender on uh, Instagram. Um, she uh, runs Comic Hunter in, with her husband in, here in Charlottetown. Uh, and uh, her bats are beautiful. If you can get your hands on a few of them, I highly recommend them. <laughs> uh, not that I have a lot of experience with bats anyway, but like if this is... Uh, if this is like, re if this is representative of bats in any way, shape or form, I, I think I'm going to have a good time. I'm just worried that this might be a, this might be like one of the best bats out there and all the other ones aren't going to be good enough because <laughs> I've been spoiled with this. Um, but anyway, I am going to uh, let you guys all go today. Uh, well, I mean, let you, I'm, I don't have a control over your life. You, you do you boo-boos uh, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.